Pathogenesis Pathogenic groups of E. coli responsible for diarrheal disease most commonly transmitted through food and water are Enteropathogenic E. coli or EPEC Shiga toxic E. coli or STEC Enteroaggressive E. coli or EAEC Enterotoxigenic E. coli or ETEC Diffused Adherent E. coli or DAAC Adherent Invasive E. coli or AIEC Enteroinvasive E. coli or EIEC Enterohemorrhagic E. coli or EHEC Enteropathogenic E. coli or EPEC and Shiga toxin producing E. coli or STEC are extracellular pathogens that attach to the intestinal epithelium and efface microvilli. Due to the presence of bundle forming pili, EPEC is capable of forming microcolonies, resulting in a localized adherence. Enteroaggressive E. coli or EAEC binds to the goblet cells which secrete mucus. This mucus forms biofilms on the intestinal mucosa to which the bacteria adhere to each other as well as to the cell surface to form an aggressive adherence pattern known as stacked brick. Enterotoxigenic E. coli or ETEC uses colonization factors CFs for attachment to host intestinal cells. Diffusely adherent E. coli or DAEC is dispersed over the surfaces of intestinal cells resulting in a diffuse adherence pattern. Adherent invasive E. coli or AIEC now this colonizes the intestinal mucosae and invades the epithelial cells. They use pili and long polar fimbriae which contribute to the invasion. They also appear from the basolateral sides of the epithelial cells and infiltrate into the macrophages. Here they undergo replication. The intrafagosomal replication kills the macrophages, which then release TNF-alpha, which further contributes to granuloma formation in the epithelial cells. Enteroinvasive E. coli EIEC, are intracellular pathogens that penetrate the intestinal epithelium through M cells. Now these M cells are specialized epithelial cells which transport the bacterial antigens from the lumen to the immune cells by transcytosis. EIEC escape submucosal macrophages by induction of macrophage cell death followed by basolateral invasion of colonocytes and lateral spread. Enterohemorrhagic E. coli. These are the most dangerous strains capable of causing epidemics. EHEC produces Shiga toxins in the lumen of the intestine. Now the bacteria crosses the intestinal barrier through M cells. It now enters the macrophages to produce Shiga toxin. The replicating bacteria further produces Shiga toxin which induces apoptosis. The Shiga toxins reach the bloodstream and finally reaches the intestines, the kidneys and the brain which causes life-threatening complications. You can watch all these videos in their full version on the Medimagic app. We have explained all the processes using amazing 3D visuals. Download the Medimagic app. The link is in the description box below. And enjoy free 14-day trial of the app.
We hope you like this video. If you did, share it with your classmates and subscribe to Medi Magic.